Hey, welcome back. This is Axel Gaming. I am Axel, and uh, yeah, today we're gonna do another speed build video. And uh, yeah, I'm uh, not gonna be talking throughout this uh, whole video. It's apparently just gonna be a speed build, but um, yeah, uh, we're banging these uh, in my CSU suit, and uh, as you can see, I'm kind of mapping out some uh, mulch from the really amazing uh, Frontier uh, pack. It's a mod. I Really, really recommend it. You get a lot of cool stuff, a lot of cool crafts too, uh, that I really like to use. This this one, for example. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I'm just uh, kind of uh, figuring out where I, where I want it to be, and it's this uh, it's uh, this new section I'm starting in the in the South America section. Uh, so it's kind of a sub section, if you can say that. But um, yeah, it's it's uh, called Birds of the Amazon, and it's supposed to be like uh, yeah. A showcase of different uh, South American birds because you know it's probably the place in the world with the most like beautiful uh, birds, uh, and I I really want to show that like and um, yeah as you can see I'm just kind of uh, figuring out how I want this fence to be. It's it's gonna be like an aviary and there may be like a walk-in section in some in some of it, but uh, right now I'm just building for the uh, both the blue and yellow macaws that I have. I have three of those and then my two uh, scarlet macaws. Uh, which, for those of you who don't know, the blue and yellow are the blue and yellow macaws, and obviously, and the scarlet are the red and the blue ones. And uh, yeah, the macaw is uh, like probably the most recognizable bird in the in the world. If there's a kids movie and there's a uh, there's a bird in it, it's probably gonna be the macaw because it's it's like the standard pirate uh, bird, if you could say that. Like, and um, they're really really beautiful too. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, I'm just kind of uh, mapping out it. They do get an indoor section, but I didn't spend too much time on that because, frankly, quite frankly, I just wasn't bothered. Um, I also, also end up struggling a bit with the uh, um, backgrounds for the uh, enclosures, but I end up it ends up I think looking extremely good actually, if I have to say so myself. myself. Like I really, really like the look of this. I'm uh, especially of the <laughs> especially of the backgrounds because uh, yeah, I really think that. Uh, Kind of gives gives uh, the aviaries here some more depth because whenever I build these kind of aviaries here, they often end up looking quite boring, like quite a uh, yeah. I'm using the phrase again, plastery. Like it's it's just plaster and grey, and and I, I didn't want that here because this is like a modern zoo, so they have to like yeah make it modern and interesting and, and stuff like that. Um, uh, yeah, I'm just sinking the, I'm just sinking the, uh, yeah, fences down, because I thought they were a little tall. But, uh, behind, <clears throat> what you see here, behind the building, the background, uh, and the indoor section, I'm gonna be building a pretty huge, like, central uh, background, backstage area for the zoo. Uh, so, like, they're gonna have a lot of backstage areas in the, uh, in the, uh, like out of outskirts, if you can say that, of the zoo, and then in the center they're gonna have a big one too, so they can easily like get around to all the places from there. And that's what I'm starting out, kind of mapping out in this video. But uh, yeah, I end up using some bamboo and stuff uh, here uh, to make the viewing area look more interesting. And I, I again, I, I think it ends up looking pretty good. Um, I found a, I made a new fence design that I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with. I think, I think it fits the uh, zoo pretty good. And uh, yeah, but, but as you can probably see, it's located right next to the penguins uh, in the South America section. So it's kind of one of the first thing that you see when you get uh, when you enter the South America section. And I've also thought about that because uh, actually they aren't they aren't stressed very easily, uh, Macau. So a lot of zoos actually have them uh, at the entrance as like one of the first animals, because obviously at the entrance of the zoo, uh, there's often gonna be a lot of, of like uh, commotion or what do you say like activity for a guest activity there's a lot of people always at the entrance of the zoo um, so therefore it's pretty important to like get an animal and, and a lot a lot of zoos uh, think about this I know like take this into, into consider consideration you don't want an animal that stressed uh, that will be stressed easily at the entrance of the zoo because yeah it's, it's gonna die of stress basically because that's why there's a lot of people so therefore it's I am um, I chose the Macaus here and I also put them like away from the main path so it's a bit more quiet where they are but yeah um, 
I also kind of wanted some flamingos because I know a lot of zoos also always have uh, also have them at the entrance because once again they're not stressed very easily, um, and they would fit quite well in in the South American section. I definitely want them at some point, but I didn't have any, <laughs> so uh, and uh, I didn't want to go through the hassle of trading them because I I knew that I had to build the um, Macau uh, enclosure at some point and I and I had this. I think pretty good idea for it here, so I kind of wanted to, to use that inspiration to actually uh, do it because I usually I'm usually not the best at making bird uh, aviaries look like pretty. So when f I actually get like the inspiration to do it, I, I kind of have to do it. I think. But yeah, I'm, I forgot to add these plaster walls to the group at the start. So I had to delete them, which was kind of annoying, but not the biggest trouble. So I just made them again. And this background you see here is. I mean, it looks meh, kind of meh, right? But so I, I do end up deleting it soon, uh, yeah. And then I replace it with, uh, yeah. I, I'm tr I try to go through like some different designs. I really don't like the look of that either. So I end up uh, using for one of the first times actually in my builds, uh, I've, I've, I, um, I go on Google and I find a search like jungle background art and then a lot of pictures come from it was, it was really easy actually and then stuff like that comes up and then I think that fits in really well uh, because it looks kind of realistic but it's not a photo it's, it's not an actual photo so I think it fits in really well uh, the other one I ended up bleeding because it was too dark so yeah and I think I, I really like the look of both of them um, and and I really think they like yeah like I said before add some depth to the, uh, the enclosure and I think it's really cool in the game that you can actually do that <coughs> I'm definitely gonna be do, uh, doing that a lot more. Like, I think it's pretty cool that you can just go on Google, find a picture you like, and then put it in the game. Um, I actually haven't used that feature before. And I also, I'm also currently working on some merchandise for the zoo. You know, with the uh, gift shop mud pack that I'm sure a lot of you use, is because it's freaking cool and it's so amazing. Seriously, like, it's I use it all the time. Um, and so I'm also like trying to make a logo, but actually one of the uh, people from the Danish CSU uh, group that I'm in, uh, actually, really, th that was really cool actually, I'm really, I'm really uh, thankful for that, um, made a, uh, has promised to, made, to make a, uh, a logo for me, because uh, they, they know like Photoshop and stuff like that I guess, and I'm really bad at it, so uh, yeah, that, that, that's going to be really cool too, and get an, an actual for the zoo. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I'm kind of, uh, I didn't know how, like, if, I think I end up, yeah, I, I end up covering, like, it up so, so you, the guests can actually see this building, but, but I still want it to look, like, just a bit more nice than, than just, like, if I just use grey plaster walls. Um, so yeah, and, uh, yeah, I guess I'm, I'm currently working here on the, the inside, but, uh, I guess I'll leave you to it, and uh, that's pretty much all I have to say. So, uh, please subscribe, be the lottle to my axel, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one, hopefully. Uh, seriously, if you, if you if you think this video is just <coughs> teeny bit like nice, and you and you think this build is just the slightest bit good, please comment, and it really really helps on my motivation. And uh, yeah, I'll get on a, I'll get a new microphone uh, very soon. It's currently being shipped, so. Sound quality is going to be better too, but uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one, and uh, stay tuned.